Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea. I'm Howard. And we are with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. And if you hear any noise in the background from the peanut gallery, that is our five month old baby. So we are here today with part two of the Dollar Tree taste test. We did recorded one earlier and I'll make sure to link it in the description box of the frozen foods that we tried out. And today we're trying the sweet and salty stuff. Yes. So we are going to jump right in. And I also wanted to say, if you like this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, we certainly hope that you will do so. You ready? Yes, first up is uh, apple cinnamon baked puffs. That's what it supposedly looks like there. Okay. Oh, here's a knife for you. And I actually like apple cinnamon puffs. Um, Trader Joe's has one, and then I think Aldi has one as well. Now those do not look like apple cinnamon baked puffs. Exactly what I thought. Cheers. They're puffs, a little apple cinnamon, but. Mm. You no. know what they taste like? Apple Jacks cereal. It's like an Apple Jacks to me. And here's what it looks like. It has a really mild apple flavor. I like puffs like Cheetos, Chiefs puffs. But I'm not a puff person. So if you like puffs and you like um, the flavor of Apple Jacks, you would probably like these puffs. Okay, so next, the sister to those apple puffs are these um, Munch Right Cheddar and Sour Cream Baked Puffs. Okay. And open those up. All right. Okay, and so here is what they look like. Um, they have a really good flavor, actually. They smell good. Sour cream and oniony. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. I prefer these, I think, to the um, apple cinnamon. Actually, I like them both. Um, to me, these remind me of the baked Cheetos puffs. That's the kind of texture and consistency. That's um, what you like. Yeah, and I like them. Tastes good. I actually like the apple and I like those too. Okay. Mmm. Okay, your turn. All right, next up, we're gonna try this, uh, Cabana Plantain Chips. These are lightly salty. And you like? I like plantain chips. Um, I've never had this brand before. But, but we'll you see. eat them. You snack on plantain chips. I do. Yeah. And I don't really care for them. There it is. Oh, they're small. Plantain chips. Okay. Here's bigger ones. Here. Oh, not bad. Lightly salted. They're good. They're not bad. I'm not a plantain chip person. They're okay. Mm -hmm. They don't have really much of a flavor, which is kind of nice. And the other variety that we have is the sweet. Same brand. Try these. There you go. Ooh, these have a very strong odor. Yeah. I, I got some why. burnt ones. <laughs> not burnt ones. <laughs> and I couldn't smell this lightly salted ones, but these sweet ones I can smell. Oh, the sweet ones usually riper, probably why. Oh. Sweet. They are sweet. Which do you prefer? Well, I like them both, but I may go with the salty ones. I would agree. These definitely taste more plantain y <laughs> than the other ones. Okay, your turn. All right, next up, we're gonna try um, chicken crackers. So I grew up eating chicken crackers, and Howard, you said you've never- Never heard of chicken crackers. I love chicken crackers. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, they are just basically a savory cracker. Um, they have a really good flavor. So this is what they look like. This is what the packaging looks like. Pretty decent sized crackers. Right, let me try some chicken crackers. crackers. Mm. Not bad. Mm -mm. I don't know what to expect though. I know. So your expectations are low. My <laughs> Mine were a little bit higher. Um, I don't care for these. These taste, I know it says artificially flavored, 
but they really do taste artificial. These do not taste as good as a name brand to me. Well, they fine to me, but I don't have anything to compare it to. Right, mm. I'm gonna say no on these, for me. Okay, so the next thing that we have are these cheese crackers. They're supposed to be similar to Cheez-Its, which we both like. Let me open up the bag. Sorry. Oops. They so, do look like Cheez-Its. They do look like Cheez-Its. Here's what they look like. There you go. But they seem, well, they seem like a Cheez-It. I was gonna say they seem lighter, but they don't. Cheers. I don't think the taste is there though. Oh man. No. They look just like a cheese that they missed it on the taste. I'd agree with you. The taste is not exactly like a cheese it. Mm -mm. There is a mild cheese flavor. I mean, in a pinch, these would do. I wouldn't get these again, but I might get these again. I'll, I'll eat either one. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right. Your turn? My turn. Okay, let's try, what's this, crispy honeycomb. So I've never tried that before. It says with sea salt. Yes, it's something I've never heard of. It's not what I expected at all. It looks a little different. Does it look different than the, oh. Well, no, but with real honey. Yeah, you wanna cut it open so we can see if it looks like the package. It says handmade sponge toffee with dark cocoa. Uh, hmm. Or choco. This is. It looks like the picture. Yeah, we'll see how it tastes. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> it tastes like a really light peanut brittle with no peanuts. Not for me. <laughs> Probably not for me. You know what? It's not that bad, really. But no. that is a texture of like a really, really light peanut brittle, but it has a bit of a chew to it. Yeah, it's one of these things that stick to your teeth. Yeah, it does stick to your teeth. But it's really not that bad. I might get this again. And I'm still chewing. Okay, so I've always been curious about Dollar Tree's cheese, and this is a five ounce package of Pepper Jack. Um, as a point of comparison, you can get an eight ounce um, package of Pepper Jack at Aldi for $1.69. When Kroger has a sale on their eight ounces of um, cheese, it's $1.88. So five ounces for a buck for this Monterey Jack. Maybe it'll go well with the uh, chicken crackers. Yeah, something's gotta go with those chicken crackers for me because um, not tasty. So I'm just trying to open the package real quick. And let me cut some off. Okay, looks like cheese. Well, <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, ready? Cheers. Not bad, I guess. I mean, not the best pepper jack cheese ever had, but. Not the best. It tastes more, it definitely has the pepper jack flavor, but it tastes it's more creamy. It tastes creamy? Yeah, I was gonna say, it tastes more like processed Velveeta. It has the texture of Velveeta cheese, not like a, what you would expect from a pepper jack. But so I would try it with the chicken crackers. Though. Yeah, but it doesn't taste like, the texture is not like pepper jack cheese like a Velveeta cheese. softer cheese. Very soft. Okay, your turn. All right, uh, next up, try this uh, oatmeal cream cookies or something. Cream pie. Cream pie. Yeah. Okay. And so I do like Little Debbie's oatmeal cream pies. I've never tried any of the Freshly brand. And Howard, you said you've not had oatmeal cream no, pies. No, I don't think I've ever had oatmeal cream pies. It looks like a cookie, it looks like a pie. So, oh actually they do call them oatmeal cream cookies on the package, I didn't realize that. So they're about the size of a Little Debbie, what you would expect. And... Let's cut it and see what we got. Oh, it's soft. Yeah, it's soft. 
Did not expect that. And uh, there it is. So it has a creamy white filling. It's soft. It feels like a little Debbie. Cheers. You won't like it. It doesn't taste like a little Debbie. So the filling is pretty gritty. Um, I don't taste anything. I taste cinnamon and I taste maybe some oatmeal. Yeah. Doesn't taste like a little Debbie, but it's a good substitute if you don't have an option. It's a soft cookie. All right, so the next thing we have are these Mr. Cake Cinnamon Crumb Cake Bites. And, oh, they come in a little tray. Individually wrapped. Yes. Wanna open that real quick? And there's the peanut gallery. He's getting a little impatient. All right, I had to take a pause and grab this little guy. He needed some attention, so sorry about that. All right, so these are the little uh, cinnamon, crumb. cinnamon crumb things. Yes, and they're small. They're probably like two inches around. They're tiny. Yeah, and they cut it open, and it looks like this. It looks probably more your texture than mine. It yes, looks I don't pretty, think you, you're gonna like dense. it. So, here we go. Let me get you a little piece. Okay. Hey, we're almost finished. We're almost finished. It's yours. Okay. Ooh, it's dry. Mmm, -hmm. good. I don't like that. <laughs> it's moist. Mm mm. Has a weird taste. Mm mm. And texture. Well, it's fine. I don't mind it. Okay, we had to take a quick baby break. Okay, you ready? All right, next up is cookie butter, which I don't think I've ever heard of before. Or... Well, I've heard of it. I've just never had cookie butter. Cookie and see. Butter? I know Trader Joe's has a cookie butter. I don't have anything to compare it to. Ooh. It's a little harder than... And see, I don't know what the texture's supposed to be. You're very brave and took a big, <laughs> well, <laughs> took a tiny little taste of it. I'll take one for the team. Cheers. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. See, I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. If it's supposed to taste like this, I don't, I don't know what know. the rage is about. What does it taste like to you? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it's not peanut butter. It does not taste like peanut butter. It does taste kind of like cookie, but the texture is a little gritty. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. I guess uh, it won't go with the chicken crackers. Though. It will not go with the chicken crackers, and I don't think I would repurchase this. Would you? No, I'd stick to peanut butter. Yeah, not, not good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the last thing that we have is this fluffy stuff bacon cotton candy. That sounds uh, different. Mm, bacon okay. cotton think, candy. I think Harrison thinks it sounds interesting too. I love cotton candy, but do you? Um, so cotton candy when it's fresh, I'm not sure about cotton candy in a bag like this. I love it in a bag. I love it in fresh, I love it in a bag. So it is and pink. Bacon cotton candy. It's pink. It has a smoky flavor. I mean, scent to it. Okay. Uh, maybe I get a whiff of bacon. Yeah. Maybe. I'm gonna take a little piece. Cheers. Cheers. I don't like the smell. It tastes bacon. Ooh. It does taste like bacon. That's not good. No, yeah, that's good. It's sweet bacon. It tastes just oh. like bacon. I don't mind it at all. I don't like that at all. I like bacon. It tastes like bacon. just like bacon. A little sweet, salty, Ugh. with the bacon in there. I'm gonna, this is all yours. You can have it, you can knock yourself out. So I a think lot. that's it, right? Yep, that's it. I think we tried everything. Um, again, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up and also subscribe to our channel because that lets us know if you like our content, if we should continue to do these types of videos. So I hope you guys liked it and thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.